Hello everyone, welcome to this next session on Anubhav Learning Series. In this learning series video, our main topic is to discuss the journey of a foreign key to association. Many of you have been working with REST APIs and ODATA APIs these days, and you often come across this concept of association. And at times you wonder, what is this association concept and how to really reuse this concept and what is the need for this association concept when it comes to especially OData APIs. We have seen this concept almost across every API which we built or consume. What is the essence of this association concept and how can we practically use this concept with respect to our Fury application? So let's get started. Before we move on, I would like to share an interesting story which I've received from one of my students and I thought of sharing it with all of you so that you can understand also the power of learning which we are having with this Anubhav Learning Series. So you can see one of my students she writes to me. I would like to say one thing. I was looking for a project change and attending interviews and he has got a couple of offers already. That's pretty nice. At the same time, today he had an interview in the TCS for S4 HANA developer position and I told him that I took S4 HANA training. He told the interviewer that he took S4 HANA training, but he did not mention which trainer he has taken. But after some point of time, when he was answering those questions with confidently, that the interviewer, he said, the way you are explaining the answers, I can easily understand that your trainer must be Anubo. I got shocked. Later, he told me that he was also my student. And then, Thanks for the S4 on a training and ultimately he got selected for the position also. So guys, there are a lot of students like this who are cracking every single day new interviews, new companies. They are getting better positions every single day. They are getting work into the project of their choice, work of their choice, location of their choice. So where are you? Have you still not taken my trainings? Go ahead and subscribe for one of them. They are definitely going to change the direction of your career and you would be able to get into the position. I will make sure that I will give you in, in such a way that you would be able to secure your position in this new technology world with my trainings. Let's move on now with today's topic. It's about association as we discussed. So typically guys, when we work with the database table, how the database tables are designed. In College days, we used to learn this concept of normalization. So there are four normal forms. First normal form, second normal form, third normal form, fourth normal form. Basically, normalization is a concept to reduce the redundancy from database. Basically, repeating set of data and then dividing these tables in multiple tables. However, it's quite important that we also still have some relationship between these tables to reduce to bring down the original data set out of these tables. And that is completely achieved with the concept of foreign key relationship. So if you really look at a very simple example between department table and employee table, we have a department number as a primary key of this table. And then we will have department name and other fields. On the other side, you have an employee table and this table has employee ID as its primary key. At the same time, it also has department ID. Now, what we used to do, we used to store department and employee data in two separate tables, but at the same time, we make sure that we have a foreign key relationship between them so that we can basically pull the data based on this department ID and this department number of the department table. In this kind of relationship, the employee table is considered to be the foreign key table. So we call this table as a foreign key table. And the department table is called a check table. Reason, because every time you insert a new record for employee, what you make sure that the department ID which you are creating here in the employee record must exist in the department table as a primary department. If not, then you can reject insertion of a record due to violation of the foreign key constraint. So this is called a foreign key constraint. 
सो देखा आपने हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट द फॉरन की कंस्ट्रेंट इट इज फॉर अर डाटा बेस टू मेक श्योर हैव द राइट वैल्यूज नाउ दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वॉट transforms into association when you create o data service guys this is a world of rest based architecture this is a world of internet mobile devices almost every application now we see here and there is getting transformed to mobile when you want to go mobile the possible uh, the possible choices of technologies on the front end side you can go with angular js react js android iphone ios or probably if you're working on sap domain definitely the choice of uh, of technology will be sap ui5 framework but when it comes to creating ui5 framework based fury applications it is important that we know how to consume the data and any fury application which you see around you is always talk to something called o data service in our trainings of sap ui5 we discussed about how to create o data service how to consume them and build an end to end fury application from scratch however in this course in this particular session i am not going to discuss about that in detail but understand the concept of association remember this video is for the people who have already taken my course or have some understanding on sap ui5 and fury and o data services with that so that you can understand this concept so this gets transformed now to something called an o data so when you transform this to an o data in the o data service what do we get is called an entity set so every table gets converted to an entity set so here you will have a department entity set and an employee set entity set so you've got an employee set for employee table and you got a department set for department employee table at the same time this foreign key actually transformed into an association guys exactly so its job is exactly the same an association allows you to make sure that this foreign key is respected at the same time when you look at a employee and its department number and you don't want to retrieve the more information about department so here you just have the department number with you you don't have department name its location hod all that information you don't have so you can actually follow this association to read the corresponding department data completely at the same time the vice versa is also possible wherein i look at a department let's say department number 100 which is an hr department and i want to now list down all the employees of only hr departments so once again i can follow this relationship association like this in this direction to read all the employee records from employee set entity so let's see this in a practical use case so what i've done here guys for your understanding purpose i've created two tables the first table is stores it's my check table where i'm storing the customer information so i am having a customer id which is the primary key of the customer customer name customer uh, address and customer cd probably and here i have a primary key as id which you can consider as employee id so that's my primary key in the customer table on the other side i have a foreign key table i call this as a demo table and in this demo table it has its own primary key however it has a customer id and it has material id so consider this as an order table of which customer ordered which material at what point of time and of course i have a order date here so here when you are storing the customer id basically this customer id has a foreign key relationship with this id in the employee table so on top it is an check table employee table the bottom this is my demo table or i call it as a demo table but actually it's a sales data of, of a customer and now whatever value you see x let's say there's an x value you will find a corresponding x here in the customer table now don't confuse with this one this is the primary key of the the sale table or the this demo table itself yeah because it also needs to have a unique identification for every record so it's a, it's a primary key of this demo table itself so now if i just uh, show you an order service which i built uh, on these tables so you can just come to the postman and i'll just show you the customers table so you see this customers entity set which is now giving me the data for Uh, my customers so you see sakshi manish uh, we have stephen georgi and we have rebecca all these are my customers data and then i have another table where i have the information about the sales and i call this as a demos table and right now in the demos table you would see some records are in there 
But if you carefully observe, I'm not storing the customer name in the demo table, rather I'm storing the customer ID because this ID I can copy, I can go back to my customer table and now I can have a search here for that ID and see if there is a valid customer with this ID or not. And bingo, you can see I have a customer Sakshi Goyal who has done a purchase for this particular uh, order. So I have these two tables and now you can see I can actually relate the data with the with the with the foreign key primary key kind of stuff but at the same time it's quite difficult every time that I have to come here to the demo table copy the customer ID go to the customer table put the put the customer ID and then check who is this customer so what makes uh, our life easy as a developer if you want to uh, get this dependent data which you can pretty easily get in a normal SQL by doing an inner join because you have a you have a foreign key constraint so that's the reason guys why we want to now bring in the association concept here to be able to get the dependent data between these two tables pretty easily without putting uh, this copy paste of IDs every time. So how can this be achieved? So I'm going to go back and establish a relationship first of all. So what we will do is uh, we will establish a relationship between uh, both these tables bi-directional. It's going to be bi-directional so that I can find out for any order who is the customer for that order. At the same time, for every customer how many orders that customer has so if I just show you the data uh, in in a more readable format which is user readable format so you can see here Sakshi Goyal she has made four purchases here so four different uh, products she has purchased you see diamond necklace uh, and some some different different products she purchased similarly Stephen has also purchased two products and Georgie purchased one product so I have a primary key for product uh, I have a primary key for uh, these sales uh, sales each each sales record I have a primary key and for that I have a customer ID in that record and for that customer ID there is a customer record in the customer master table which is going to be acting like a check table for me so how do we bring this relationship live in case of O data services so for that I'm just going to go to my data model and in my data model here I will first establish so you see this is my demo.json table and this table actually storing the information about uh, customer create date customer and material information so I'm going to come down and I will say relations and I will be maintaining a relation so I will say one relation of the sales data is two with customers two customers just say single and now in this I will say what is the type of relationship and I will say this belongs to my customer model and the relationship uh, basically so called the foreign key relationship the column which is participating in the foreign key relationship I need to mention here so foreign key and that's is going to be with this customer field so basically customer field of my table is this table current sales table should go and be checked against the primary key of this customer model and you see this customer model the primary key here is the ID okay its ID is the primary key of the customer so naturally system will establish this foreign key relationship in the data model and automatically when my ODA is created this transforms into an ODA service so let me just quickly restart my engine and now you would see when we hit the ODA service earlier when we were hitting these demos which is my order data you can see there were no relationship I have to manually copy these this customer ID take to the customer table and pull the customer data but now if I just come and just say send and you do a get what you see is should be available as a relationship for us why well, it's not showing the relationship let me just cross check so did we restart the server properly yes we did so why am I not able to see so let's hit again oops not able to see two customers relationship so there is some syntax error I have done probably let me just cross check and let's check uh, yeah I think I've done a typo in the model and you see this customer spelling I've done a typo so that's my customer model I'm going to save this up and let's quickly restart our engine one more time by the way this application is built using node.js 
So we are using Node.js framework to build our data models as well as the OData service here. And now I'm going to go back to the uh, Postman and I say send for my order table, which is demos table. And let's see what do we get. So definitely the server has to be up and running and then only we should be able to see. Awesome. You can see here now it has got this relationship exposed also as an OData service. Now this is very, very uh, interesting to see that I can now retrieve the customer data right away. I don't have to copy paste the ID or pick up this ID of customer and go to the customer entity to pull the data. I can directly utilize this relationship which is created called two customers, which is a foreign key relationship. And I'm going to copy this complete URL. Just copy that up and put it on the top and just click on send. And now you would see that it will pull the information of that particular customer right away on my screen. Awesome. But now at the same time, I want to sometimes also know that this customer has made how many orders. So for that, we need now another direction of relationship between the check table to the foreign key table. So right now you see when I go and look at the customer records, so maybe if I just fetch all the customers, I still don't have a relationship with orders. So I don't know how many order this customer has. So for that, again, I need to probably go and apply some kind of filtering there at the, at the order level, which is not a good idea. If we have a direct relationship, which is exposed out, it makes pretty easy for me as, an, as a consumer of this, this service to pull the data, dependent data of orders for this particular customer. So let's do this uh, relationship bi-directional now. So for that now, it's time to flip the table and go to the customer's uh, data model and come to the relations. And now I'm going to create say two orders and let's put that up and now say the relationship type and this should be has many because a customer has many what is the model name model name is demo and uh, what is a foreign key relationship it's again the customer field which is going to be foreign key relationship. Awesome. Let's restart and check it out. And I'm going to come back. And this time let's do a get on customer. So last time when we do get on customer, you cannot see here any, um, any relationship. But now if I'm just going to say execute, you would find that we will get here a new relationship uh, to the orders. So now you can see here we have got this orders entity set, which will allow me to directly pull all the orders for this given customer. So as we just saw, the Sakshi Coil has four orders which were made uh, in the in the system. So I can now directly use this association, which is actually produced due to the relationship which we created in the data model as a foreign key, which becomes transforms into an association. So I'm going to copy this complete call for this customer Sakshi, I'm going to paste that here and say send. And now, there you go. You can see it has got all the four orders of the Sakshi. Yeah, awesome. That's what we wanted to do. And uh, that's it for the association concept. Thanks for watching this video. So if you like this video, do let me know. Share your comments about this video. And let me know also if you want me to create more concepts similar to this in a small sessions. And if you are in need of any kind of technical training on SAP UI5, Fiori, Gateway, OData, Launchpad, Fiori Security, S4 HANA, CDS Views, AMDP, ADBC, SQL Scripting, Component JS, Router, Root Match Handler, Manifest JSON, Launchpad Security Concepts, Launchpad Designer, Fiori Customization, uh, Extensibility, S4 HANA Extensions, In-App Extensions, Cloud SDK, SAP Cloud Platform, uh, Fiori Web IDE, anything of that, please do let me know. You can drop an inquiry on our website and please do get back to me in case if you want more videos of this kind. As usual, thanks for being there always and listening to these videos. Have a nice day and goodbye.